Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today we are ranking every single Call of Duty because I thought why not something different than my usual gaming videos. So let's get right into this. Okay, first of all, we need to say some rules. I am only allowed to rank Call of Duties that I've played, so this includes the one on screens right now. I mean, I could have said them, but I like to give you guys nice visuals. But anyway, 16th probably isn't much of a surprise to many people, is Call of Duty Vanguard. The reason for this is that I had really high hopes, I even done a couple streams playing Call of Duty World War 2, which is one of my favourite ones, as you'll see later in the video, but it just didn't meet my standards for a World War 2 game, obviously, I have played World at War before, it is not better than World War 2, <laughs> um, I mean, the map design, I mean like the creativity design and like the freedom you have in that game is more than World War 2 but I prefer World War 2 more because it's more linear. Actually I'm supposed to be talking about Vanguard. The Vanguard campaign, I mean it's alright. The multiplayer is just any other multiplayer just with um, World War 2 weapons. The zombies, the worst ever zombies. Like, if I played that zombies, I would ask if Sledgehammer made it. Not Treyarch, you know, the people who are actually good making zombies content. But anyway, there are some good aspects, which I can't really name, so maybe there isn't. But anyway, let's get on to number 15. So number 15 is Black Ops 4. Now the reason for this is probably not surprising. It's not got a campaign. The multiplayer was okay. I didn't really like the blackout mode. And the zombies was actually quite decent is why, and that is why. It edges out Vanguard because it has the decent zombies and now I, I love zombie game modes that's why um, one of um, the games has been brought up so much um, but Call of Duty Black Ops 4 I mean they tried to do some good with the new zombies crew but um, they didn't really carry it on and this is probably the weakest entry by Treyarch I would say maybe uh, actually no I wouldn't say anything but I mean Black Ops 4 and Vanguard are really the only two Call of Duties I don't like Vanguard because I had really high expectations which was kind of my bad but didn't meet them expectations were really far off Black Ops 4 I mean it's something that I'd play but I'd, I'd just rather play Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, World at War any other Call of Duty other than Vanguard if you held if you held me in a room and said I could only play one COD the rest of them, uh, one of these two CODs for the rest of my life uh, and it would be between Vanguard and Black Ops 4 I'd be choosing Black Ops 4 because I believe the blackout mode is better than Vanguard's campaign but anyway that is my it, that is number 15 and let's get on to 14 
to be Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I mean, it's not even that bad of a Call of Duty. I mean, it's not even that bad of a game in general. I just think all the Call of Duties that I have played, other than obviously, you know, the, the, the absolutely dog shit ones, uh, Black Ops 4 and Vanguard, this is probably the worst and weakest one, but it's not that bad. The campaign is surprisingly um, amazing, but obviously others have done way better. Um, the multiplayer was okay, I didn't really like the uh, exosuits um, in the campaign, and then exo-zombies. I don't really want to talk about that because it's just garbage, pure garbage, um, and like the zombies can jump, <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense, so um, anyway, that n number 14 is Advanced Warfare, and number 13 is... Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. Now the reason for this is that, to be honest, I didn't really like the idea of them doing a reboot of the Modern Warfare series, but it wasn't that bad of a game, it was surely better than Advanced Warfare miles away, miles away from Advanced Warfare. Um, the campaign was brilliant, the multiplayer was, it, it was fun when you had friends but if you are just playing casually alone, say like I've tried to record videos about that when it first came out but like I wasn't having any fun so I decided not to post them which is one of the reasons why it's down here because it was like a grey area, I stopped uploading for three months because I was planning to upload on that. But hopefully I'll be able to do some stuff on the newest Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which I'll probably be getting for my birthday. But anyway, I can't remember what the third game mode was, but I remember also having a lot of fun on that. Uh, the only reason why this is here is probably because of um, nostalgia reasons but you're like this this isn't really that recent it came out in 2019 um, but really that's all I can say about it anyway let's move on to number 12 which is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 2022 now the reason why this is above Modern Warfare 2019 is because I just think the campaign is slightly better, the multiplayer practically identical, um, better graphics is what I can think of, That this just barely edges out Modern Warfare 2019, I mean obviously there are way better CODs uh, upcoming on this list but I don't get it when some people say the favourite Call of Duty ever was this one, which no one probably says, but I know a couple of people who say Modern Warfare 2019, and I just don't get it because it's mm, not that good. But Modern Warfare 2, the campaign's absolutely brilliant, can't argue with it. The bloody multiplayer's the same, all multiplayer's are the same, just with different weapons and customization. And um, I also can't remember the third thing for this, but I, I don't. I think it was DMZ, and that 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 is actually pretty fun. Could have been Warzone 2 as well, but I hate both Warzone games. This is why they're not on the list. If they were, it would be Warzone 19th. Warzone 2 18th, DMZ, you know, 17th, and then we have Vanguard, you know, Vanguard, 
I can't even remember what um, I've done because they're just forgettable games. But anyway, that was number 12. Just to let you know again, it was Modern Warfare 2 2022. And now it's time to move on to number 11. Just missing out on the top 10 is Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, I know many people do not like this Call of Duty, but to be honest, it's probably another one that could literally just go anywhere on in the middle part of this list. Because, if I'm being honest, the campaign in this is brilliant. I love uh, where you could control Riley, the dog. The story was... Um, absolutely brilliant it's sad that it ended on a cliffhanger and won't be getting a sequel i mean i could say a million things about this the multiplayer pretty standard call of duty multiplayer and extinction i know many people didn't like this but i mean they tried something new it some people liked it some people well absolutely hated it but I'm one of those people who liked it and this is how it barely misses um, on the top 10 because um, the Call of Duty that I have in 10th I could easily swap around for Ghosts so it's no surprise that I put Ghosts here but I could easily swap the Call of Duty that just edges out on ghosts um, back to the campaign on ghosts characters are brilliant logan um, amazing antagonist i know he doesn't speak but one of the good things rock i believe the main villain's name was um brilliant villain he turned on who he was originally with um because he was brainwashed not because he wanted revenge because he was brainwashed to want revenge he didn't initially want revenge he did want to stay alive which he did but he wanted to stay alive with the ghosts so um all that is why call of duty ghosts is in 11th place and burly in the top 10 is call of duty Modern Warfare 3. Now, I believe this to edge out ghosts is because it's the end to my second favourite um, Call of Duty run. I mean, absolutely brilliant um, Modern Warfare 3. Of course, it's a very unpopular game as well. But in my opinion, all Call of Duties are okay to amazing to legendary other than Vanguard and Black Ops 4. I mean, uh, Modern Warfare 3, of course, um, the multiplayer had become repetitive from Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 1, I believe. And... Um, I think it was Spec Ops in this. I have had loads of fun memories. And you're like, hang on a minute, you don't even sound like you're bloody 15, let alone 18. Well, it's because I own loads of old consoles. I, um, I have nostalgia for things I've never played, which is a bit weird. I don't know if anyone else is like that. But anyway, back to Modern Warfare 3, the campaign, beautiful ending to the Modern Warfare series, is which I'm annoyed that they have rebooted it. It's like the original never happened. I will probably always like the original better than um, the newer one. But obviously, I'm really looking forward to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, because I believe it would be the first Modern Warfare to have zombies in it. Um, which I think would be pretty cool. I've already watched the trailer for it, so that is good. Um, anyway, back to 
OG Modern Warfare 3, the multiplayer, obviously repetitive as previously mentioned, campaign, I love the ending where Captain Price hangs Makarov and just smokes a cigar, absolutely amazing ending and that is why this edges out ghosts but it's very very close between the two now it's time for um number nine which is call of duty black ops cold war now this is probably miles ahead of call of duty modern warfare 3 because it's probably um i mean you could I, I could bump it all the way up to seventh um there's maybe even uh, above six potentially in the top five i could bump um black ops cold war but um it's in ninth because i like other call of duty is better now the campaign on this is brilliant multiple endings um which i think is re- is like a really good um standpoint like i wish they did that more obviously they've done it once before uh, once again with black ops i mean they this is the second time they've done it treyarch uh, no one else has done it but they've done it again with black ops 2 and i mean black ops cold war it's a game where you just can't really complain because um the multiplayer was um refreshing it had um old weapons it had i think it had a couple of the new newer ones maybe pushing it a bit but honestly, I can't complain if, um, say, if I go round my mate's house and he goes, uh, uh, what Call of Duty do you want to play? And he's got all of them up to Black Ops Cold War. I mean, all of them up to sixth place, probably. I'd either choose Black Ops Cold War or any of the um, above because... I mean, Black Ops Cold War is amazing, the multiplayer is decent, the the campaign brilliant, Um, I mean like there's a shock ending when Adler shot ya, absolutely brilliant, and I mean the zombies was brilliant as well. I could go on and on and on about how um, brilliant or decent this game turned out and this is why it's like just barely in the lower half because I think nostalgia has put one up for me and that number eight spot will be going to Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but the campaign is probably one of the best campaigns. Definitely better than um, ones higher on the list. I mean, it's absolutely outstanding. And, um, it's it's outstanding obviously you have characters that are well known now like um soap and captain price both of them 10 out of 10 characters you have um gaz as well who unfortunately dies in the first one um, in the first entry in the series i mean i would have liked to saw more of him but I mean, considering what we had for the other two games, uh, I wouldn't change a thing. And I mean, it's a classic. Modern Warfare is a classic. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare 
I mean, put that in front of me. I'll grab it and start playing it instantly. But if you put something like Vanguard in front of me, I'll fucking burn it in a bin. Um, but anyway, I mean, I know that was short for Modern Warfare, but what else am I supposed to say? Um, I, I mean, me, the Spec Ops, I didn't really play it because, you know, I've played it a, I've played it a couple times, but um, yeah, it's just not as good. But that's all I have to say about Call of Duty. Modern Warfare and now it's time for number seven which is Call of Duty World at War. The reason for this is if I'm being honest is because it's the game that brought zombies which is my favorite ever game mode. I will not lie though, <clears throat> the multiplayer was basically mod um, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare uh, with a World War 2 coat of paint, uh, but the campaign amazing, like with these moral choices, like um, when you had to kill a bunch of them Germans, your friends did it anyway, um, or burning 500 Japanese people alive with a flamethrower all at once which I'm not gonna lie it's pretty cool and I mean zombies it was more it wasn't like all this Easter egg stuff that I've that I've done hardly anything of because it's just so over complicated but, I mean, World at War is truly one of my favourite Call of Duties. And, um, that's really all I can say. Because there's, n uh, there's nothing really defining about it. It's like the fourth Call of Duty. And I know, every I know everyone, when you heard me say World, you thought, oh, this is where World, World, World War 2 is. But no, this is where World at War is. Oh, that's a tongue twister um but anyway let's move on to number six which is call of duty black ops 3. now all of you probably weren't expecting black ops 3 to make it this far and you were like okay he put world at war and the original modern warfare below world war 2 um, so this one has to be it, but no, it's Black Ops 3. Now, the reason why this ranks so high is because it's the peak of zombies. It was gradually getting better and better, and it peaked right here. Now, the campaign was a muddled mess in my first playthrough, but um, I started, it started making it making more sense let's just say that and the multiplayer i mean um the hyper advanced movement i wasn't a massive fan of it but you can't complain when it's just a really decent multiplayer also some of the maps are really um cool i couldn't name you any of them but they're pretty cool. The only one that I can name is Redwood is because um, it's the most annoying map. But um, anyway, other than that, I really do think Black Ops 3 deserves the number six spot, but I do believe it should just miss out on the top five. But um, anyway, after number six, at Black was black ops 3 into the top five is call of duty modern warfare 2 the original now the reason for this is seven 
words. If everything is broken, nothing is broken. Literally everything in this game was broken. It was like it was basically normal guns on steroids. And also you have the tactical nuke. Tactical nuke incoming. Am amazing. Amazing memories on that game. Also with amazing maps. M the most notable the, no the most notable being Rust. Now the campaign probably better than Modern Warfare the uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. It's probably my second mm, second or third favorite campaign. If you want to see me rank the campaigns individually, you know, you can ask for that. Obviously it won't be included in Black Ops 4. Wow. But anyway, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 original. Absolutely amazing. And I mean really the multiplayer was broken. Spec Ops was I mean, it, it was really, really fun. The campaign is probably my favourite part of each COD game, unless if it's got zombies, then I'm straight to the zombies. Um, but anyway, with that being said, the campaign, the twist in it is amazing. Young me never saw it coming. We're with Ghost got the thing we're gonna get out of here but no shepherd shoots us in like the chest and shoots ghost in the chest it's just really sad i mean i was pissed and i was really glad when we got to throw the knife at his head but anyway with that all being said let's move on to number Four, which is finally Call of Duty World War 2. Now, at the start of the video, I was kind of sucking World War 2's dick, but it is a brilliant game. The campaign, although focusing on the American Western Front, the cinematics in the campaign is amazing. The characters are absolutely brilliant. I'd say um, they're the third best set of characters that we've ever gotten. And I mean, what more could you want? Of course, the multiplayer was a bit thingy with the loot boxes. And um, as the act man said, um, Fucking grips. Goddamn fucking grips. Um, enough about the multiplayer. I mean, the zombies, the jump scares in it was annoying, but other than that, I mean, it it it's a good zombies. I mean, the only two maps that I like is the starter one, Final Reich, and the one where you're on a beach. They're the only two maps I like about it. But the campaign and the multiplayer i mean the campaign's brilliant amazing one of the uh, top tier campaign um the multiplayer is um boring but i mean it's also kind of good as well because now you get times two everything so say if you just like want to gloat and say haha i got like level a thousand on this call of duty when it first came out but you just got all the dual xp you could do that i mean obviously now i can't do that um but you already knew from ages ago when i used to do streams about it and about them streams i had so much fun my friends were in the comments and it, it was just a really fun experience also if you notice like my voice like getting sometimes louder and sometimes more quieter is because i'm recording this while playing call of duty world war 2
in the middle of like recording so i mean like it it's summer it's summer good that is better with your friends kind of like transit in black ops 2 but anyway that's enough about world war 2 because i've said um some things about it previously but anyway now it's time for the bronze medal and the call of duty getting the bronze medal is call of duty infinite warfare call of duty infinite warfare is an underrated masterpiece I mean the campaign is brilliant I don't care what anyone has to say the it's in a, a different setting uh, also spoilers the ending where everyone dies is so sad if I'm not gonna lie a couple years ago I would have cried when my character died but now I'd still cry when Ethan died because he's probably the best companion ever in a Call of Duty series other than like when you're not playing as like a main character and Captain Price you know and all that stuff and like Mason and Woods you know he's probably the best um, companion um, I could ask for and he's an absolute super soldier as well his sacrifice will never be forgotten by me. The multiplayer is surprisingly amazing as well. I mean, I can't complain um, when playing it. I mean, I know most of the maps are in space, but, you know, it's literally a game about space. So I don't know why people say, oh, but most of the maps are on the moon and shit. I don't want to play this game because it's in space. You know what's really, really funny? When you're on a certain map, I, don't, I, I can't remember the name of it. When you kill someone, the body just floats in the air. Like for, for a good like minute or two. So, so say, if it's, say if you're like in free for all and everyone's in that main hallway where it most happen, happen, where it mostly happens, you know, and there's just one survivor there's about like 10 bodies on the roof and it's just so funny i mean and last but not least the zombies zombies in spaceland and the rest uh, i mean zombies in spaceland is probably one of my favorite ever call of duty maps e even if we're uh, even if we're like putting it against stuff like mob of the dead um what are other popular maps god damn it um mob of the dead um kino the totem i mean after zombies in spaceland it keeps on um going down and down after zombies in spaceland but each boss battle is really really fun i really recommend like say if you're a new player for zombies and you're too much of a pussy to play uh, Treyarch Zombies. Play Infinite Wolf of uh, Zombies because it's so funny. I mean, it really is. And it's really, it's more fun if you have friends. So not me. Um, but I mean, it's just a brilliant game. And now after seeing all of this, we are going to be moving on to the silver medal. We're almost done, people. And anyway, the silver medal obviously belongs to Call of Duty. Black Ops 1. I mean, come on. You can't argue of where I've placed it there. Because it's just such round bait breaking game the campaign probably in my top three favorites as well the um 
multiplayer, absolutely amazing. Introducing to one of the most iconic maps in Call of Duty history, which is Nuketown. I mean, and the guns were amazing, kill streaks were decent. And the zombies gave us maps like Kino the Totem, Ascension, the Moon, Call of the Dead, which was a really unique one. And I mean, what more could I ask from a Black Ops game? It's the first ever Black Ops game. We get introduced to these iconic characters like um, Mason and Woods. I'm not talking about um, the Mason you're playing as Black Ops 2. I'm talking about the Mason you play in, you know, Black Ops 1 and some of Black Ops 2. But, uh, oh my god, it's just such an amazing game. And I, re I really can't say anything. It's a classic. I'd play it any day of the week, if I'm bored. If, because I don't really play that much Call of Duty. And I don't really have that many old consoles because I play on PlayStation, obviously. But anyway, um, this is your reminder to like and subscribe right before the winner. You all know who, what it is. It's Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And I mean, what a game this is. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Um, some people saw this coming. Black Ops 2, what a game. You get to create your own class. Is what I forgot to mention um, for Bronze Medalist Infinite Warfare. But you get to create your own class, which is just, you know, amazing. I, I mean, like, in the campaign. Um, obviously, the good old 10-point system in the multiplayer. And you actually, like, the grind is amazing it's no pay to win i mean black ops 2 amazing transit i've already mentioned absolutely horrible on solo i'd never played solo but if i had a couple of friends which i don't um i would definitely play transit because it is really fun playing with other people that's why i always play on randoms on transit and um other maps it brought us mob of the dead which is a brilliant map it brought us origins another 10 out of 10 map what i couldn't ask any more from a call of duty game which is why if you i've used this before in the video which is why if you put um me in front of a table with all call of duties on I'm going to Black Ops 2. I mean, also, I think I mentioned it in another thing where it had multiple endings, which I believe was, oh, what was it now? Oh, oh Black Ops Cold War um, had alternate endings. So there's this one. Also, where you're playing as Woods and you have to snipe um the prisoner but it's actually mason shocked me and it's how uh woods lost his legs oh well he didn't lose him just stopped working after he got shot in the kneecaps but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed I'm sorry i've not uploaded in a while this video took ages to make um but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, considering to give me a like if you want, I'm not forcing you, and subscribe if you want, I'm not forcing you, and have a great day if you're watching this at night, have a great sleep, or if you stay up all night, have a great night, um, and goodbye.